Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a total body workout with a set of dumbbells, minor eight pounds each. So get whatever suits you, anywhere from two to a little heavier, whatever works for you, depending on how strong you are. And remember, the flow is strength and ease. If you are in a really cold place, make sure that you're warmed up, otherwise we'll slowly build up on the exercises and slowly warm up through the exercises, gradually increasing the level of intensity of the exercises. So I don't warm up if you're cold or in a cold place or flow with me. Let's begin. <laughs> Let's draw a few big circles with the hands. Forward. And here we're going to swing the arms side to side. Open the arms out and draw circles just with the fingertips. And reversing the direction. This is really good for the shoulder joint. Great. A neck stretch, right hand on the left side of the head, lengthen the neck, stretch, opposite side, stretch. Bring the hands behind, clasp, relax the shoulders, open the chest, press the hands away from you. You can step your feet hip width apart, forward. And now step them a little further apart and we're going to Touch the floor to the right, reach over to the left. One, two, sit back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step in lunge, right leg leading. And we're gonna lower the left knee down, kick back, lower, kick back two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hands in prayer twist. And step at the front chair. Step the right leg back, lower the knee down, kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I hope you're quickly building fire, heat, and hand to the left. Reach up to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep your body back. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm warmed up. I hope you are. Grab your dumbbells. If you are, otherwise you can repeat this one more time, this little intro. And we're gonna step at the front of the mat. Step the left leg back to dumbbell curls, biceps curls, step at the front. Step back, two, three, four. Try to keep your elbow steady, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Lean forward, really straighten the back, lumbar curve, and keep your elbows at your rib cage. We're gonna extend and bend. 
one squeeze two three four five six seven eight nine ten and straighten come up to standing step back with the right leg biceps curls one two squeeze three four five six seven eight nine ten step at the front straighten the back maintaining the natural curve of the back lift and straighten the arms one two three four five six seven eight nine ten good take a quick breather and we're gonna go back to the biceps curls one more time back lunge to biceps curls left leg stepping back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hold the lunge here lean forward again keeping the natural curve in the spine bend at the elbows and open one flies two lead with the elbows three flex the back four five six seven eight nine ten i feel the burn opposite side let's keep the the fire going <laughs> one squeeze the elbows two three four five six seven eight nine then stay in your lunge lean forward straighten the back keep the curve bend the elbows one two three squeeze the back four five six seven eight nine ten all right lower body combination lower body shoulders first to we'll focus on the legs and hams hamstrings and glutes so bend the knees slightly lower down in a deadlift and then lower down in a squat deadlift squat keep the booty as far back as you can in the squat two three four five six straight back natural curve seven eight nine ten hands by the shoulders and bells by the shoulders squat lift one thing i don't want you to do is let me demonstrate it i don't want you to go super down in the squat if you can maintain the curve in the lower back so if you feel yourself rounding at some point in this move that's right before that 
place, you want to stop the squat. So if that's here, that's okay. I'm down to here, come up. You really, really want to prevent and avoid the curving down, especially with bearing weight to happen because long over abuse of lifting heavy weights with that type of alignment is not good for the back. And some people can get away with it. But overall, if you're flowing with me, I don't want you to do it. So do it in front of the mirror, record it on your phone, on the camera, make sure that your alignment is good. If it's not, you're gonna get a lot of benefit from a more shallow squat. All right, let's go. This was important. So that's why I allowed myself to give you a break. <laughs> Two, or that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, press into your heels, nine, 10. You can place the dumbbells together, take a white sumo squat and pose here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Squeeze the booty. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Take a big breath in, and we're gonna go back to the combination of deadlift, deadlift to squat. So step out, keep your knees with a micro bent or a bigger bent at all times. Lower down, keep the lower back curve. Come up. You can bring your hands onto your shoulders or between the legs, either way. Feel that your butt is bearing the weight and your back is strengthening here. So let's go one. I would have to say this is the number one most, most common mistake. I see, even in people that have been going to the gym for many years, even in people that have strong glutes. One more, and we're gonna get to the abs. Place your dumbbells on the side and lay onto your left side. Your hands can be supporting you here, or the bottom hand arm can be on the floor, and you're gonna bring in and extend. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's repeat both sides, one, squeeze, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sit, sit up straight, grab one dumbbell or none, keep that straight curve again, same thing, straighten out the back so that it maintains its natural curve, and lean back, open the chest, reach side to side, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten time for doing this re this type of reaching with the dumbbell we started without. So reach to the right, lift to the left, squeeze the belly, three, push the booty back, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold on to your dumbbell and step at the back of your mat. We're gonna take the right leg forward, reach, twist, reach, and back, and again. Right side first, two, three, squeeze the belly, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, step your feet apart, left leg leading, and you can extend your right knee down, tuck in the tailbone and pressing into the hip flexor, bend the front knee just slightly, straight back, lower down over the shin bone and come back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change sides. One, two, three, four, straight back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold your dumbbell with both hands and strong legs, strong core, lift in front of you and hold it for as long as you can, this is hard. Strong belly. Last exercise, come on to your left knee, put your dumbbell, if you find this safe, if your dumbbell has good sides, otherwise you can do it without a dumbbell. In the crease of your knee, you can lower onto your forearms or not, and lift here, flex the foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 30, and let's change sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, squeeze. Four, five, six, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. And that concludes our twenty-minute workout. <sighs> nice and compact tight effective come back to it whenever you feel like you need the boost for more longer classes and more classes like this come to my website with 400 classes never seen on youtube before all kinds of levels and focus and now we are having monthly programs going with a lot of new classes and arrangements everything is designed so that you don't have to think about it you just click on the class for the day and you can find so many schedules again with different focus and level so i'll either see you next week or on, uh, for our next class or i'll see you on my website tomorrow and remember to follow strength and ease namaste